<laughs> That's funny. Well, I said all you had to do is just twist this little knob here, but nothing seems to happen. Ah, shucks. I told you when you bought that radio set that it weren't no good. You'd just been slickered, Zeb, that's all. Slickered nothing. Worked yesterday, didn't it? You just keep the trap shut and get them cans put up there in the top shelf. I'll get the consign traption going, don't worry. Well, uh, what cans you want put on the top shelf? Them right there sitting on the counter, consign it. He's here. Uh, see that? I got a noise out of it anyhow. Well, I can't climb up there without a ladder, and you have to hold the ladder. You don't need no ladder. Just to get up to the top shelf, what are you talking about? Pile up a couple of cracker boxes and stand on them. Ah, uh, shut. Sure. Well, go on. Pile them up there. Well, there's the dad darn boxes. What cans you want put on the shelf? Them cans right there in the counter. Six alive. Use your head, there. <laughs> Making me do all the work. Yes, well, now, never mind. Hey, Nabbit. Uh, how do you expect me to climb up on this pile of boxes with my arm full of cans? Come here and give me a boost. Oh, Land of Goshen, you're the dirtiest fella. You can't do nothing to yourself. Well, get one foot up there and, and I'll boost you up. Never mind my foot. You just hang on to the boxes. Well, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm hanging on to him. All right. Dang nabbit. Get it. Get it. This damn dirty knee of mine. Now listen. Uh, steady here. Steady here till I uh, get these cans on the shelf. Oh, steady. You make more fuss about a little job than any feller that I... Well, you all right, pick up. Oh, look out, look out. That's You've heard the first installment of our new radio serial, The Big Shot. Oh. That darn you, Zeb. Darn your Henry Hyde. And what'd you leave go of them boxes for? No, I I thought I was being shot. Well, get your foot out of my face, will you? Let me up. Well, That's the consign radio. For two cents. For, for two cents, I'd take it. Look out up. now, you you leave it alone. Well, shut off that dad rat thing, will you? Before I smash it to perdition. Yeah. Burn it. Yeah, burn it. Give me a wrench like that just when it's getting better. Well, it wasn't my fault. It was during radio coming all of a sudden, was it? Come on now, let's pick up these canes. You can pick them up yourself. Pick up every one of them yourself. I'm going over to the drugstore. Yes, yeah, but, but hold on. Wait a second. Wait a second. Oh, I'll be soaking around the whole darn day, I suppose. Like nothing but trouble around here from morning to night. I declare to. Say, uh, say, has Professor uh, Sister Wake been in here yet? Uh, uh, no, heck, you know, he ain't uh, got here yet. Um, you all ready for your examination? Yeah, sure, sure I am. Well, you'd better use your head today, young feller, because if you don't pass this time, they'll be playing that big game tomorrow without you. Just remember that. Oh, shoot, uh, shoot. I'll pass it. I'll pass it all right. Yeah. It's only a little examination anyway, just about art. Mm. Uh, and uh, I know all about art. I used to be a famous artist myself. What? Yes, sir. For instance, um, for instance uh, have you seen that picture in the library of the cows? Well, yes, I've seen it. Why? Did you draw them cows? No, but I've milked lots of them. Milk them? Uh, what in perdition's milk in the cow got to do with being an artist? Well, uh, uh, you see, you see, it's like this, Mr. Winterbottom. Uh, when an artist starts out to, to paint farm animals, he has to study them very closely. Yes. Very closely. That's the only way you can paint a farm animal and have it look natural. It is, eh? Yes, sir. And that's what I used to strive for. I used to strive to have all my paintings look natural. Why, do you know, you know that I painted a chicken so natural, so natural, Mr. Winterbottom, that when I put it on the floor, it laid there. It, it laid, it, um, ah, I suppose you think you're pretty darn smart, don't you? I bet you never even was an artist. Well, I was. I yeah. was just the same. I, I was. Wasn't. I was an artist in the war. An artist in the war. What'd you draw in the war? Uh, Thirty dollars a month. Oh, I mean, what's an artist got to do in the army? What'd you paint? 
Uh, I painted uh, camouflage. Yes, that's what I painted. Oh, camouflage. Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. And I was doggone quick at it, too. Oh. I saved the whole regiment of artillery that way once. Yeah, well, how do you mean? Well, uh, you see, uh, you see, all of our cannons were painted green with black stripes. Painted green with black stripes, eh? Yes. Yes, sir. You know, you know, that was to fool the enemy. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. But, uh, but one day an enemy spy found out that the cannons were painted green with black stripes. And you know what that meant? Where? That meant our secret was out. Mm. Yes, sir. Our guns would be blown to bits. But before that spy could get back to the enemy and report, I repainted the whole artillery. Sakes alive, you did, huh? Yes, sir. Well, uh, what color did you paint the cannons that time? Uh, black with green stripes. Uh, and another time... Uh, yes, but now, I... wait a second. If you, if uh, another time I saved the whole town. Uh, yes, sir, a whole town, Mr. Winterbottom. You see... You see, I had been left in that town to guard the women and children. Mm-hmm. Suddenly, suddenly, one day, I saw the whole enemy army approaching. Mm-hmm. The whole enemy army. Mm-hmm. And there I was. There I was. One soldier to protect the whole town. Well, what'd you do? Well, what'd you do? I grabbed my paint and a piece of canvas and painted a camouflage. I painted a camouflage so well, Mr. Whitnerbottom, that the enemy army didn't even know the town was there. In fact, in fact, you turned around and marched away again. Mm-hmm. Turned ground and marched away again. Absolutely. And the town was saved on account of my camouflage. Well, uh, what did this here camouflage look like? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's right. And the next day, a gentleman put his hand on my uh, shoulder uh, and he yes, said to but, me... Yes, uh, but listen, said, uh, I asked you what the camouflage looked like. Now, what did you paint? Oh, uh, oh, what did I paint? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh I, I painted... Uh, uh, I painted a huge picture of a... Uh, of, uh, oh, yes, I painted a huge picture of a Sunday school picnic. So the general said to me, Now, Hector, hold on there, Hector Smith. How in tradition would a picture of a Sunday school picnic stop an army? Uh, what was that? I said, how would a Sunday school picnic make an army turn around and go away again? Well, uh, you see, uh, you see, it was like this. It was like this. The army stopped, and, uh, and all the soldiers went to the picnic, uh, caught poison oak, and had to go home. What? <laughs> Say, now you listen here, young fella. If you think I'm going to believe a story like that, you just got another guess coming. Yes, sir. You wasn't in the army in the first place. In the second place, you... you, you... Ah, good morning, good morning. Oh, um, um, how do you do, Professor? Oh, gosh, uh, gosh. Uh, hello, uh, hello, Professor. Yes, well, I'm glad to see you are here on time, Smith. And I'm very busy this morning. I have an appointment in ten minutes with Mr. McCall. Well... Sakes alive, Professor. You, uh, you don't mean uh, Mr. McCarr, the millionaire, the, uh, the fellow that come all the way out here from New Orleans to see the football game? Yes, that's the gentleman. As a matter of fact, Smith, it is largely on account of Mr. McCarr that I'm allowing you to take a second examination. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, yes, yeah. Uh, yes, thank you very much, yes, yeah, thank well, you. Well, uh, Professor, this week, um, uh, and how do you mean it's on account of Mr. McCarr that you're letting Hector take another examination? Well, uh, Mr. McCarr is very anxious to see Squidgeville defeated. Mm-hmm. And with Smith on the academy team, I feel that we can defeat Squidgeville. I think so, too. Yes. Mm-hmm. So, rather than disappoint Mr. McCarr by uh, not allowing Smith to play, I permitted him to take another examination. Oh, yes, yes, I, I see. <laughs> Yes, he would be sort of shame for Mr. McCarr to come all the way out here to, to see the Academy get beat. However, you realize, uh, do you, Smith, that this examination is final? Oh, yes, yeah, 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 sure, sure. Um, uh, and, and I'm very, I'm very thankful of getting another chance to play. Very well. And as my time is limited, I shall ask you just one question. Are you ready for it? Uh, yeah, 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 sure. Well, the question is this. Give the name of a noted Italian artist of the 15th century. Oh, uh, gosh, uh, gosh sake, uh, gee, well, uh, uh, what's the matter? Well, what's the matter, Hector? Oh, gee, <laughs> oh, gosh, uh, well, gosh. Well, Smith, I'm waiting. Give the name of a noted Italian artist of the 15th century. Oh, gosh, uh, gosh, uh, don't know, don't know. Well, Smith, I'm sorry, but that's all we can do about your case. You positively cannot play in the game tomorrow.